Never waste a good crisis. And when it comes to the economic crisis, don't waste it when it, it can have a very positive impact. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. The way we're going to win over the long term is not just militarily. We've got to win over uh, hearts and minds. And what that means is we've got to invest in countries that uh, have no educational infrastructure and have no uh, means for young people to, to get ahead. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. Stay tuned for Politics and Religion. Well, the Department of Homeland Security is extending the time for states to request more time to comply with the Real ID Act. The Department of Homeland Security, in its January 2008 final rule, set an October 11, 2009 target for states to request extra time. States now have until December 1 to request more time to comply with the law. This has really been quite a comedy as time has gone along. Originally, all states were to have complied by May the 11th of 2008. Well, when the states begin to dig in their heels and say, we're not going to do this, uh, then there was an extension given until December of 2009 to be in full compliance and uh, they were given until October to request more time to be in compliance. Well, none of the states have been doing any of these things. And so the federal government keeps saying, OK, you didn't comply. We understand this a tough time and that there are problems. Therefore, we're going to extend, extend, extend. Now, in the meantime, between now and the end of this year, what the federal government is hoping to do is to uh, change the law and to replace the Real ID Act with the Pass ID Act. One of the things that it would do would be to not require this ID for getting on an airplane at all. And it would modify some other things. Nevertheless, it would still be a national ID card. So here's the choices we are being given by the government right now. A Real ID or a pass ID. The pass ID is the name they've given to the replacement that they're hoping to uh, give to the real ID. So the choice is a real ID or a pass ID. But I've got a third choice that I think is a better idea. How about no ID? We haven't had an identification card for 230 years, ladies and gentlemen. And we don't need one now. We can get by, believe it or not, for another 230 years without a national ID card. Now, I hear some of the protesters out there saying right now, hold on, hold on. This is not a national ID. All I know is it is an ID. And I know all of them would admit to that. And it was passed by a national law, right? Yes. So if it's an ID passed by national law, it's a national ID. I know we may look dumb and stupid to you, but we're not quite that dumb. It is a national ID, period. Unless you're playing semantics with us because the United Nations has asked you, the federal government, give, to give us a national ID that will ultimately become a global ID. Maybe that's the reason you look at us and claim you're not fabricating when you say this is not a national ID. Maybe you've got your fingers crossed under the table, and what you're really saying is it's not a national ID. It's a global ID. But these sheeple are too ignorant to know that. Well, we do happen to know that the uh, International Aviation uh, Division of the United Nations has, in fact, asked all the nations of the world to have standardized ID to meet global standards by next year. Because President Bush tipped his hand. He said, we are taking these steps toward a, an ID right now in order to cooperate with the United Nations Aviation Organization. Well, uh, so that's really what this is all about. This is really a global ID where every human being on the earth will have his or her own number, his or her own biometric identification. They will have their 
facial scan so that you could walk into an airport in Prague, the Czech Republic, and a camera could pick up your face and within two seconds say, oh, yeah, I know who that is. That's Irvin Baxter from uh, Dallas, Texas. So that's where we're really headed. That's what this is really all about. I'm not talking about we're headed there in 20 or 30 years. We're headed there in a matter of two or three years. All of these things are the driving forces behind the continued push by the Department of Homeland Security to make sure that you have papers, ID papers, because we've entered a time when people are guilty until proven innocent. And so consequently, you have to prove that you're legitimate, not the government prove that you're illegitimate, which has been the tradition of this nation up till now. Well, that's where we are right now. We're fighting for the past and the future of America. Don't give up the fight.